First Alert Weather with Brian Allworth is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. Pretty nice outside this morning, awaiting the sunrise on a mostly clear morning. Looks like we've got some high clouds, may make for a colorful sunrise here, but uh, not quite as chilly this morning. Most of the area in the 50s, even some 40s occasionally showing up, including a 47 right now up at Mount Vernon. Uh, a little bit of a southerly breeze and dew points remain fairly low, although these numbers are beginning to climb slowly. It doesn't look like it'll be too humid today. Satellite radar does show some high clouds drifting in, but that's about it. So yeah, dry, it should stay dry today. It's gonna be a little on the windy side. That's about the only issue. Strong low pressure to our north, so some rain and thunderstorms up there, but uh, that'll stay well north of us. So for today, again, a, a warmer day, a little windier though. Highs about 80, 81, 82 degrees. More sunshine than clouds. Tonight looks to be rather mild, relatively mild. Breezy overnight with temps uh, bottoming out maybe around 60 or so. So certainly not chilly tonight. Big thunderstorms coming in from the west late tomorrow. Now this system, most of tomorrow may actually be dry. Uh, but by late afternoon evening, thunderstorms likely to, to uh, develop from west to east. And also it's going to be pretty windy tomorrow. May have some advisories. Now for Friday, we're not concerned about severe, but we may have some pretty heavy rain, especially late Friday into Friday night. This is a sec separate system. We have got two different systems on the way. The first one, strong storms late tomorrow. The second one, heavy rain late Friday into Friday night. And then over the weekend, we dry out, but we cool down. So breezy and cool on uh, Saturday with highs only in the 50s and 60s. The other thing I wanted to point out real quickly here, we may get cold enough for some scattered frost, especially as the winds die down by Monday morning.